what else do founders need to have in order as they go to pitch VCs or prepare to receive investment? I mean, I would imagine other documentation, financials, et cetera. Like, so what, what outside the tech audit, if you can maybe talk about a few other major things people need to have in order. Yeah. Um, so, so in terms of documentation, yeah, I mentioned you know, the tech audit requires documentation, but just, just before I answer your question, most founders roll their eyes when, you, when they hear the word documentation, but it's critical for other parts of the process as well. Um, you know, if if the strategy is to get a, an outsourced development provider, for example, then you'll you'd be wise, you know, to get quotes from development providers, but to get as accurate quotes as you can. And to do that, if you have your documentation in order, your requirements. Uh, among other things, then you're more likely to get accurate quotes. Um, so that documentation is important. Um, and um, so then in terms of non-technical things, so obviously the pitch deck itself will contain um, information about the problem statement, the solution, the market that, um, you know, that um, is being addressed and the niche within that market mm -hmm. um so supporting documentation for that especially evidence of traction now depending on the stage of the startup um there are different ways of proving traction you know ideally you want people giving you money even mm -hmm. if you haven't got a product but that's hard to do you know i don't see that much people actually giving money for for something, uh, but that's the best solution. So evidence of traction might just be letters of intent. Uh, it might be conversations you've had, you know, um, with potential customers and some, some, you know, uh, numbers around that. Um, obviously, a business plan. You'll have a you know, your software. Most software want you know. <laughs> For people going for investment, most of the time they have a plan to get to be profitable and to get revenue and, and profit and growth. So you will need a business, you'll need a monetization strategy for the product. Mm -hmm. You know, are we going to do a subscription um, model or a, or a, or a one-off cost, or is it going to be free with a you know with add-on plugins and um, you know add-ons? Um, or free tier premium. Tier. There's, there's all sorts of monetization strategies that needs to be documented. Um, I believe, <laughs> you know, not just verbal, mm -hmm. but then there's the business model around that, the scenarios, you know, the worst case scenarios, the expected case scenarios, best case scenarios to show, you know, um, revenue, user growth. So that the business plan needs to be uh, documented along with any strategy, you know, strategies for. Sometimes, you know, sometimes companies do business development through partnerships and, and that, that strategy, I think, needs to be documented as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you can tell I'm quite hot on documentation <laughs> um, yeah. because, it, because it aligns everybody. It, you know, you've got evidence of the strategic thinking, everyone that is aligned um, around what the plan is, etc. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a good call out. Um, and I think founders need to realize that there's quite a bit that goes into making sure you have a polished idea and essentially a company at that point, if you're looking to grow and, and seek funding. Yeah. I mean, the key, the critical thing is to get some evidence of traction because without that, I don't think you'll get investment. It's unlikely that you'll get investment, you know, show that mm -hmm. there is a market. There are people that are prepared to pay for the product or the solutions. So yeah. So with that being said, kind of, and I like to think of opportunity vehicles or market fit. Um, do you advise founders at all on their ideas or do they, is that solely on them? And then you just help them turn it into a reality? Or do you oftentimes say, uh, I don't really see that being a huge market fit or there being a huge market for that. And I recommend you go in another direction. I try to be neutral and help founders with the process you know the the 
it's not quite a scientific process, but uh, but the, the the methodical process of gathering data and getting evidence and you know proving to themselves or at least giving themselves as much confidence as they can. It's never proof. Um, giving themselves as much confidence about whether or not it's a viable business. So I try to be neutral, but you know, obviously being human, I do have opinions. So um, if I give an opinion, it will be like, this is, you know, it'd be caveated with, this is just my opinion, you know, but you mustn't take my opinion. You must get evidence and data.